What's happening guys? It's Misty Lovely coming at you with my week. I was corrected. It's week 31 of my post-op realized band surgery. Um, I wanted to cover a few things with you guys on today, but before that I'll get right into numbers. Um, and I will say that Misty Lovely had a game this week and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. But actually, it's coincidental that I had a gain and I was going to talk about gains. Right? Uh, 0 0.7. And let's not concentrate on that, peeps. Let's not concentrate on that. Let's listen to the rest of the um, update. You know, for you, this T Lovely, like I always say, for you know anyone who's new to my channel, I don't worry about gains because they are a part of this journey. Therefore, I don't look at them any, any different or deliver them any different than I would a loss. So um, last week I was 297.8 and this week I'm 298.5 for a 0 0.7 pound gain and from my highest weight of 378.8 to now 298.5 that's a total loss of 80.5 pounds. Now it could have been worse because I'll tell you guys what happened and I'll tell you guys why I had that 0 0.7 pound gain. Um, I, this weekend, had a I don't care weekend. I really did. And I don't feel bad about it. I sincerely wanted to eat what I ate and I ate it. Um, I actually tried, because I didn't know if I could have bread with my fill being the way it was. But I tried the new stuffed feta, feta and spinach uh, breadsticks from Domino's. Because my husband wanted something to eat and he wanted to order something like right away. So I ended up ordering that just to try it and I liked it. So I tried it and I'm over it. Um, but now this is an interesting factor here with carbohydrates Carbs tend to make you hold on to water So my husband was telling me just on yesterday. He was like you didn't have any gain Your body is still holding on to the water from that bread because I'm not a, I'm not a real big carb eater Now while I'm talking about carbs. I wanted to give you guys a little quick uh, thing I learned in biology on today is why um why carbohydrates are actually the first thing our body goes for when we're actually working out and we're hitting it hard. Um, it's because they're sugars. And sugars are e easily able to be broken down in the body. Therefore, that's the first thing that it goes for when you are burning, burning calories. So I thought that was an interesting tidbit. And my husband was also saying that, like I said, when you eat the carbs, your body tends to hold on to that water. So my body's right now, it's flushing out. So that 0 0.7 will be gone. You want to know how I'll know? Because I actually had shot up the three. And today I weighed in today and I was the number I just told you guys. So definitely am holding water retention. Um, like I said, you guys know I don't make excuses, but that is exactly what it is. That's what's happened to me in the past a uh, few times. There were false gains. But like I said, I'll never not report to you guys. Um, something else I wanted to talk about was... Um, I wanted to talk about people and their reactions to weight loss surgery and weight loss in general. Um, I was told a couple things uh, this last week that really grinding my gears as it was said on Family Guy. Um, I was told that I'm not supposed to eat chicken that's seasoned. And I said, why Why is that? Because you're supposed to eat it bland. So, you know, I, I can't really get mad at people who have a misconception because really their misconception is truly ignorance. And like I said before, ignorance and stupidity do not go hand in hand. Um, ignorance is you're, you're not aware of something you don't know you don't know about something so you make an assertion rather than getting the facts and I was just like you know I explained to them calmly that I can eat whatever I want in moderation but I make the choices I choose and me losing 80 something odd pounds has not been with me eating chicken that's seasoned with lemon I'm just saying but <laughs> um, what else um, I was also told too, uh, I heard this one, and I know we all hear it, and I've, and I've talked about this before. I've, I've heard, you have such a pretty face, you know, but you can lose a few pounds. And I actually said to the person, said, you know what, you know what's funny is, I actually lost, oh wait, 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 before that, before she, before I, before I could even say anything, she was like, you know, because, what did she say? She said, because you're, 
You're such a beautiful young lady. And um, I said, you know what? Yes, I am. I'm beautiful all over, all of me. Not a part of me, all of me. You know, for once I stood up for myself because I've heard this a lot when I was younger. And I said, you know what? I'm somebody who didn't recognize myself when I looked into the mirror once upon a time when I was 80 plus pounds. And now, I mean, um, when I had 80 more plus pounds on this body frame of mine. And now I can recognize who I am. I said, somebody's going to take that away from me. So I got more than just a pretty face. But here again, it goes into the ignorance. You know, you know people just have this idea that people are supposed to be a certain size, they're supposed to be a certain way because of how they view them and you know weight loss is a process, it's not a result and it's going to take time but right now I like what I see, I love who I am I love that I know that I'm working for it and you know sometimes you just gotta let your results speak let your results speak um, and that's it so anyway I'm gonna let you guys go um, thank you for listening and like I said, let's not concentrate, guys, on gains. Really quickly here before I leave, um, the importance of not concentrating on gains. When people come to you guys and we're honest, you know, we're putting ourselves out here. And, you know, not a lot of people are doing this. Granted, there's a lot of people in our community, but not a lot of people are being this honest. And um, let's make people feel comfortable to be able to do this. Because I know that there have been times where I thought, I was like, oh, my gosh, I had a potential gain. I'm not even worried about myself. I'm more worried about the, the reaction I'm going to get back and the responses. Oh, don't worry about it. No, no, no. And you know what? That's sometimes it's an encouragement. But when a person's telling you they're not worried about it, you know, let's not put too much on it. Because I have people that I've seen in the community that are scared to post and they don't want to come because they're, they're messing up or, or they feel as though they're messing up. Because you guys know what Miss T. Lovely says. There's no such thing as mess up. Um, we allow ourselves to have sometimes. And, um, it is what it is but um let's just be more loving is all i'm saying so i love you guys thank you to all my new subscribers oh my gosh i have something coming up for you guys here soon um i also have another vlog coming up behind this one i don't know if i'm attached to this one or not about what's in miss t lovely's fridge your day refrigerator you know because there's no bad stuff in my house i gotta go out and get it in order for it to be any kind of thing in the house that i shouldn't overindulge in rather not bad stuff let me correct myself so anyway Love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Week 31 down, and I'll see you all later. Bye.